that other, the question that uh, is posed is how many people do you think will be underwater next year? Whew. I don't think very many. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I, I, I think, I think values will continue to rise through next year. Um, I, I, it will stop. It will correct. Um, it will decline. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable saying in the next 12 months, that's going to happen. No, their appreciation is going to carry them across the threshold. The yeah. people that, that I think that are going to, yeah, Don Harris is saying zero. Yep. The, the people that I think that are going to lose any money or get behind on their payments are just really poor money managers and are in denial with what's going on around them. Mm -hmm. the, the any, anybody that has that kind of attitude, they're the ones that are going to lose, but um, you, you, you've got to be in, in you got to be in a serious world of hurt to lose your house at this point. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, we talked about appreciation. I was telling you yesterday that that house that flip I or not flip, I guess it was a rental um, that I did in Charlotte. Like, oh yeah. So like, if you, if you went on Zillow before it was the rehab, you're like, Oh, it's, you know, it's going to be worth a hundred, hundred and ten thousand dollars Um, you know, I, I didn't spend much. I, pro I mean, much yeah, relatively speaking, I think $20,000 was with everything it needed. And most of that was just a brand new HVAC. Um, so I was like, Oh, you know, I'm I, like, I might squeak out 150, but I'm really thinking probably 140 is what, what that value is going to come really in. That was the comps I pulled on it. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> and I was really pushing it. <laughs> yeah. And it, I just got the appraisal back yesterday, 181. That's like, amazing. Like 50 or I'm sorry, 30,000 more than what I thought the high end wow. <laughs> was for it. So, and the, and the comps were, you know, all within one mile. Um, now can the, you get the, can you get the rent to match that? That's, that's the thing is the values are going up so high, but rents are stuck, you know, for 12 months you know, mm -hmm. how, how are we going to get the rents to come up and really match where the values of the house are? Well, yeah, you know, and, and the rent in that house, I think it's like 1100 um, bucks. So it's a two bedroom, right? Yeah. Two bedroom, one bath, really big yard, um, fenced in. It's, it's, it's nice. It's cute. Um, but yeah, like the, the rents now, the rents don't really, if you're in a, the rents don't match the, the value. Um, but that's okay because I'm in it a lot less than than what that you know that hundred and eighty thousand. So it, it works out. But I just I mean because the thing that shocked me was appraisals are are backward facing. They're they're not using what's happening today. They're using right. what's happened what happened yesterday. Right. And even using what happened yesterday, that that value came in thirty thousand more than I thought it would. So I'm just I'm I'm blown away about the the appreciation in our markets. And well, that, here's that was another in Charlotte. Bump. Yeah. Here's yeah. another good bump for you. It's a corner lot. The mm -hmm. backyard is huge. So it has lots of road frontage for, with the backyard and the city council just passed uh, an ordinance saying that all the houses now can be multifamily, can be zoned multifamily. So now I mean, you I can put an edu you back there. Yeah, you, know, you sure could. <laughs> yeah. Are you, what is it? UAD. It's a U D A D U an additional <laughs> dwelling UAD. unit. You sure can. You sure can. <laughs>